So part two, the mental part of dealing with your health. Uh, most people will give up after trying to deal with their health, to be honest. Uh, most people don't want to put in the work to be their own advocate. Most people trust their doctors to tell them if something was wrong. And simply, most people don't want to know. They just don't. Because then you know, and then you got to do something about it. If you are one of the people who is pushing through um, to find answers, keep pushing, keep asking for new and for better doctors. Um, now say you pushed and now you have a diagnosis. That's an entire other mental beast. You go through so many emotions, all of them valid, such as relief that you have a diagnosis, that you were right, that you aren't crazy. Then comes the, oh shit, this is something that I have. Um, you have a mourning period of yourself, of the person you are, the person you used to be, the person you're going to become. Um, it's a lot. There's just so many emotions before you reach the acceptance of, you know, your diagnosis. Take your time going through these emotions if you need to. There is no shortcut. There is no like straight line when it comes to this. It's just a constant up and down. Remember, there's no setbacks and emotions and health together are a roller coaster with many highs and many lows. Embrace both and remember that your emotions are not linear. If you have any questions on this, feel free to comment below.